I'm the coach. You're locked into the NFL on EA Sports. Straight ahead, we've got a terrific matchup on tap between the Baltimore Ravens and the Kansas City Chiefs. With that, we're off to Arrowhead for the call from Kansas City. We'll hand it over to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, from one of the loudest venues in the NFL, there's a look at Arrowhead Stadium here in Kansas City. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up with the Baltimore Ravens. Alongside my broadcast partner, Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and as we look at this matchup, every time there's something different to focus on, so I'll just ask you, what do you see here in this one? Well, Rembrandt, you've given me a pretty blank canvas to focus on, haven't you? Yeah. Where do you think I'm going to go with this? Oh, secondary? You know me, you know me well, right? In a game like this, it's always about the secondary. Can they handle the passing attack and make a few plays? Here's the kicker, Harrison Butker, ready to get this one started. And into a sea of red, we're underway in Kansas City. This fielded at the two. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. So here come the Ravens now, ready to get the football for the first time. Commanding the offense will be Lamar Jackson, the electric quarterback out of the University of Louisville. So first and ten now from the 30. You can't block me. You can't block me. They'll run for the first time with Mark Ingram. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 12 yards to pick up there. Good for a Raven first. So much for staying ahead of the chains with a three- or four-yard gain on first down. They moved the chains with a nice little run. Yeah, they're making the chain gang hustle a little bit to try and keep up, aren't they? Because a lot of the first series of games are scripted, many times to probe and find some holes in the defense. Sometimes you attack with some big-time runs, too. Here we, here we go, D. Here, here I come again. Here I come again. Oh, on first and ten, it's Jackson. Open man is the tight end, Nick Boyle. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. And a very good offensive unit here. One of the reasons they're so good is running back Mark Ingram. Took a little while for him to find his footing when he got into the league, but the former Heisman Trophy winner has it now and has really upped his pass receiving potential. A nice player. Second and five after the five yard completion on first down. They run from the pistol with Ingram. Run, run, run. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. That's good for a Raven first down, 15 yards there. Two carries for him now on the opening drive, both for good yardage. And based on film study, they thought that there was a chance to spring him more than once for some pretty good yardage in this game. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 38. They run. It's Mark Ingram. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Well, I think that's what they're going to need to do here in the first half. You've got to take some pressure off of this young quarterback, and no better way to do it than to establish the running game early. Eight yards the tally on that first down run. Here's second and two. Here's Ingram, and he'll go down at the 28. Two yards, good enough for a first. You were telling me this yesterday. This is exactly what they want to do on the opening drive, establish the ground game. Yeah, remember our conversation? We were talking about what one of the GMs in the league has told me repeatedly. It's a big man's game, and it's not necessarily size. He's talking about playing some big boy football. Line up, get leverage, knock people back, and establish the run early. This is Ingram on first and 10. And he'll go down right on the edge of the red zone following a pickup of about seven or eight. 
The impressive opening drive continues and just space being created by those guys up front. We're seeing this the same way, aren't we? We are seeing an offensive line as this game gets started, as it starts to unfold, that they are dominating the line of scrimmage. Now a first carry for their fullback. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Well, not a lot of flash and dash on that play. Second and two, and they hand it to the big man, and he ends up picking up a first down. A little bit of gray area there, though, but I think what they thought, hey, we hand it to him here. If we come back and don't get it, we still got another down to try and pick it up. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. And now Jackson will look to throw it. Sneed's got it. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. The completion good for three, and it's second down. And a glance now at the Chiefs' defense. Tyron Matthew has a quarterback's build with safety skills. The Honey Badger knows where the football is. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. Ingram. Down to the six-yard line on a pickup of six as he gets halfway to the goal line. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. This will be play number nine coming up on this relatively long opening drive as they look to convert on third down. From the gun, it's Jackson to the end zone, but it's incomplete. Brandon, some of those windows that throw the football that exist when you're between the 20s, they don't exist when you're this close to the goal line. But as a former DV, I liked it closer to the goal line. Tighter windows made it easier to cover people, actually. So on fourth down, here's the Ravens Pro Bowl kicker, Justin Tucker, out onto the field. From the left hash, a chip shot here. Tucker's kick is good. And the Ravens strike first at three zip. Well, after marching down the field, only getting three there, kind of feels like a win for the defense. And it does. They'll go to the sideline feeling a lot better that they didn't give up a touchdown after the march against them. But if I were the offense, I wouldn't hang my head over that one. That's a good drive, and three points were put on the board. Tucker now following the made field goal, set to kick it away. This is fielded a couple yards deep. And all that work, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he's simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. So here are the Chiefs now as they get set for their opening drive. As we get a peek at the former Red Raider and 10th pick in the 2017 draft, Patrick Mahomes. Mahomes will lead the Chiefs up first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll run it for the first time with Williams. And he's going to get hit at the line of scrimmage and driven backwards. Call it no gain on the play, and it'll be second down. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Let's go, D. Working from the gun, Mahomes. Looking sideline, incomplete. He was trying to get it to Tyreek Hill that time. And that takes us from second to third down. 
By the way, I got to apologize because I just realized for about the last four or five plays, I'm eking over into your territory up here in the booth. My bad. I'm going to get back over Yellow. to my spot. Yeah, we're not talking about our on air commentary. I mean, what is all this extra paper? I mean, this is unusual I know. for you. My bad. Normally, you run a really tight ship. What's going on here? Just like that. And got his man complete. And they got it well across midfield down to the 40 before it's all said and done. They chalked that one up as a gain of 34 on third down. Three nothing after one on EA Sports. So the big play moves him all the way across midfield to the 40 now for first and 10. From the gun, it's a run for Williams. And he gets this to the 35. Good for a gain of five. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Mahomes going to throw. He'll get the first down and more inside the 20. And all the way down to the 17-yard line. Nice play for Kansas City, picking up the first 18 yards that time. One of the advantages of zone defense, as I remember it, is being able to see the play develop in front of you. One of the disadvantages, when they find those levels where they can hit you with it. Sometimes behind the corner and in front of the safety, it makes it tough to defend. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. He was looking for Tyreek Hill that time. And now it's second down. That's already the third time they've looked his way on this opening drive. He's caught one of the three. That doesn't mean they won't continue to go in that direction. It feels like they think they've got something good going there, and they think those numbers are going to increase. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Robinson's got it. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. The Chiefs have got the passing game rolling a bit. And another first down. They're piecing together a nice drive to start this one. Seems pretty scripted and pretty successful so far. And I think they did it without our help. Because you remember when we sat in with the, in the production meeting with them to talk about this. And hey, you know, how are you guys going to come back? And he's going to take it into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. A three-yard touchdown run. And the Chiefs have taken the lead. Solid job up front. Really just a solid job all the way around to get that one in. That was well executed, wasn't it? Well blocked, well run. End result, six points. Touchdown. Harrison Bunker is on for the extra point. And this is up and good to make it 7-3. So that drive in total eight plays. And in the end, it was all capped off by the Damian Williams touchdown run. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee, and they'll start at the 25. 
And we shift our attention to Mark Ingram. And the ground game's been good, but they're losing here in the second quarter. Can they use that ground game maybe to work the air attack a little bit more? I think so, because now you can throw play action off of being able to run the ball effectively. And oftentimes, you might want to just swing your back out of the backfield, get the ball in his hands in open space, and just don't get totally away from running it, because some of these runs now, they may pop bigger as the game goes along. Yeah, they've been good with a run so far. 12 yards to pick up there, good for a Raven first. Well, you talked about the need for them to establish the run early. They've been able to do that here in the first half. And that means that the whole offense has adopted that attitude and that persona. We're going to take care of this young quarterback. Let's all get together and run it and take the pressure off. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Jackson fakes the give and keeps it. Out to Roberts here on the quick pass. A big one there for the Ravens. It goes for 18. I like watching the wide receiver screen because it's a real teamwork play. Because guess what? The guy catching the ball, he'll get all the credit. But how about the people up to block in front of him, either fellow receivers or offensive linemen? That makes that play a really nice timing play, and sometimes it can break big. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. No gain on the dump off at second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Second down, Ingram. Seven yards on the carry, make it third and four coming up. Well, there's an example of patience being rewarded. Ran the ball on first down and got stuffed. Most people would scream, throw the ball here in this situation. They stayed with their roots, stayed with running the football, and they got rewarded. From the gun on third down, Jackson. And he's got his man, Marquise Brown. And he's going to have the first down yardage to the 35. 157 to go in this first half on EA Sports. Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. Here's a pass swung out left to his running back. And this time not quite to the 30. He'll be down at the 31-yard line. They'll get four there out of the screen and it's second down. So many things have to come together just right for a screen pass to break for big yardage. The blocking, the timing of the pass to the runner, everything has to fit together just right. But on that play, the defense was able to disrupt things and hold it to a short game. Throwing again on second down. Jackson, he was looking for Mark Ingram there. And it's third down. Great coverage there all around. Really didn't have many options to throw the football. Very little chance that that one was going to be completed. Every receiver was locked up. Seventh play of the drive upcoming here on third and six. Jackson will throw again. They go screen. This is Ingram. The Chiefs now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. And for the second time tonight, this field goal unit comes out here. He hit his first. Now this one from 48 yards away. And his kick is absolutely perfect. And they'll get it back within a point at 7-6. to six. No problems in the field goal department so far. He's 2-for-2. Two two. Pretty reliable here in this game, isn't he? And to me, that bodes well for them. If they need him late in the game, his confidence should be sky high.
Tucker now following the made field goal set to kick it away. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll take this across the 25. A couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. Here's the Kansas City offense now as they get set to take over. And still plenty of time remaining here in the half, more than a minute. And we'll see if they just want to protect that lead or try to add on to it. Well, with as much time as is left on the clock, I would imagine it would be the latter. I think they're going to try and add on to it. So what they're going to tell the team is very simply, if you can get out of bounds after making a play downfield, terrific. If you can't, everyone hustle to the line of scrimmage, either run another play or clock it and start over again. An 11-yard pickup, and it's enough for a Chiefs first down. Now another timeout called for by the offense as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Shotgun snap to Mahomes. And an incomplete pass. That'll stop the clock here with just under a minute to play in half number one. Defensively, that's Earl Thomas, the all-pro safety, knocking it free. Line of scrimmage, again the 37 as they line up second and 10. To throw, it's Mahomes. Flush to his right. And oh, he's going to be brought down by the face mask. Here come the flags. This is going to get him a first down. Defense. Got the hand caught up in the grill of the face mask. 15-yard penalty. So tough for a defender. You're trying so hard to make a play. And the way that these offensive guys can move around, sometimes your hand gets into the wrong place. And now it's first and 10. A big mistake, especially when you factor in the personal foul yardage. Here's Mahomes to throw. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out punishment, but here, he's the one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, unable to hold on to the football. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Again, they'll throw with Mahomes. It's Kelsey on the ground. That goes for a Chiefs first down, 14 yards. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. On first and ten, here's Mahomes. And nearly picked off. Surprising to see a defender of his caliber let it get away, but it does get away and it's second down. That pass just a little bit off. It looked like maybe he tried to force it in there. Game speed, always different, no matter what you do in practice. You can't simulate it, right? So your decision making, everything has to be a little bit quicker. Sometimes it can throw you off until you adjust. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. Back of the end zone, could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. On every offensive coordinator, every play caller sheet, they have about five or six plays per game that they call shot plays or big plays, and you don't get many opportunities to dial them up, and they just did, and they drop it with a great chance to make a big play. That's gonna hurt. Throwing is Mahomes on third. And this is caught by Watkins. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. The Chiefs quickly now going to use the last of their timeouts as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. First down is Mahomes. And that's caught. It's Kelsey. Touchdown, Kansas City. 
Travis Kelsey as the first half is winding down. And the Chiefs are able to extend their lead. And that lead is now seven with a chance to go to eight or more if they want to get <laughs> crazy here, which we don't expect. But I just know the way the game's being played with the analytics. There's going to be a lot more going for two in a lot of situations, isn't there? Yeah, there's going to be. And now I think their focus here, they don't want to give up anything going into the lockers on the other and just a little bit of time left on the clock. Yeah, they don't want to do anything to erase the good feeling they have right now by getting this late score in the half. The extra point splits the uprights, and the lead is up to eight. So that drive goes eight plays, and it's capped off with a Kansas City touchdown. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. This will be fielded at the six. And he'll take this across the 25. Couple extra yards up to the 27-yard line. Nine seconds to play, likely the final snap of the first half as it's first and 10. And they'll indeed start on the ground to run that clock. And he'll just push his way forward for a few as the clock will run. And this offense going to elect to burn a timeout with five seconds remaining in quarter number two. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. Final play of the half here, it's Jackson. He's going to float this over the middle, deep. And that'll be incomplete. Good protection that time, and they couldn't hook up on the long one. Now it's third down. So we have reached halftime here in what's an eight-point game. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome, everyone, to this abridged version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. This game's had a little bit of everything thus far and certainly plenty to look forward to as the teams are right back out there for the second half. So we'll get right back out there as well as we'll turn it back over to Brandon Godden. Okay, Coach, appreciate it. A one-touchdown game here as we get set to resume play in the second half. Ready for the start of the third quarter. The Chiefs have the lead and set to receive the football. That's fielded in the end zone. And he won't return this one. He'll go down to a knee and they'll start at the 25. Here comes the Chiefs offensive unit as they'll have it to begin quarter number three. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking for some separation here as we begin the third quarter. I like the way you term that because now I think they go a little bit deeper into their playbook. They like what they did in the first half. That worked okay. But in order to get the separation that you just talked about, change things up a little bit. Change your tendencies. Try and hit them a little bit more with some things they didn't see in the first half. Let's we'll see if they do just that. Here a throw taken in by Watkins. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Give him 13 yards there and a Kansas City first down. That looked like a pretty good route combination there because you've got to find a way to clear the guy running the drag because when you do, you just put the ball on him and then let him run. Yeah, he's got some space. So here's a first and 10 at the 38. Now here's Mahomes. Oh, a battle for it here, and this will be caught. 
Give him 15 yards on that one. Kansas City has a first down. Fifth catch of the game for him there. Yeah, and the tight end position is now becoming a volume pass catcher. It used to be occasional, right? Safety valve. Throw one to him every so often, but more, mainly they want him out there to block. Nowadays, an integral part of the passing game, and they create such great mismatches that they often become the leading receiver. Back-to-back oh, -back good oh, plays man. have them on the move on Come first on, down. Hey, it's, just, it's, just, it's just me and you. It's just me. They'll run out of the gun here, Williams. And he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. Patrick Onwasor up to make the tackle. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Again, it's Williams. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. Sometimes it's hard to believe, but there are times this game is about patience, isn't it? Has had the game he expected, but that run there, that may get him going. I was just going to say, maybe that gives him a little juice, because you're right, he struggled, especially in that first half. Yeah, and I know the great ones always think to themselves, just hang in there. I'm just one big carry away from busting this open. That's a good start for him. going to pull it out and keep it himself. A quick throw out wide caught by Robinson. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. They threw the screen to the perimeter, but to no benefit at all. Tackled behind the line of scrimmage for a loss of yardage. That loss of three, a rare stumble on a promising drive. Here's second and 13. From the gun, it's Mahomes. It's Hill, complete. That catch good for only a yard, and it'll be third down. Good throw, good catch, but I really like the route. The drag and being able to run away from defenders, hard to stick with them for that long. Yeah, better against man than zone, or... Better against man, because now you're running away from someone, and you're not running into a defensive player in another zone. From the gun on third down, Mahomes. And eventually taken down here. Great coverage downfield. Michael Pierce in all of his 340-pound glory gets the sack. Well, they went with the nickel. They throw in an extra defensive back. Coverage was very good. Yeah, it was exactly as you would expect. A passing down. You bring in the nickel package. Just as you described, the coverage was excellent and allowed one of their linemen to end up getting to the quarterback. Here's Dustin Colquitt now, as he should be able to pin him back deep here with his first punt. Here we go, here we go, here we go. The Ravens offense getting ready now for their first possession of the second half. They're down in this game, a chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half two try and get things kick-started for them. And you know at the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play a lot how, of the how time. How many plays do you script coming out of the second most of, most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10, kind of a starter or an opener, whatever, they, whatever terminology they use, just something to get you off to a quick start. First play of the drive, let's give credit all around. Excellent blocking. But a guy carrying the ball, he was the finisher. A really nice run. Operating from the 27 now. Here's second and three. Ingram again. And they'll take him down at the 31-yard line. Four yards the pickup, first down. 
So many teams want to throw the ball in this situation nowadays, but I love watching a team that has enough confidence to go ahead and run the football in that situation. That's almost a tendency breaker. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. This is Ingram. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. You know, despite the score line, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. Now on third down, an extra DB out there for the Chiefs. Jackson from the shotgun. That's into the hands of the tight end, Boyle. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 16 yards on that one at a Raven first. going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Two first downs have them up near midfield now on first and ten. From the gun, Jackson, and that'll be knocked away. It's incomplete. He was trying to get it to Seth Roberts, but it's going to be second down. Very difficult night for the guys on offense. They've got to be looking at each other in the huddle and on the sidelines. How are we going to find some open space to complete a pass and find open room to run? This defense all night long has squeezed down the passing lanes, made plays on the football. It's really been a thing of beauty for them. He's got to figure all day long prepping for the game. They had to have talked about it again and again. Squeeze passing lanes and we'll be in great shape. That catch good for only a yard, and it'll be third down. And, partner, I think that was a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. On third down, Jackson. He gets it to Brown. Good play. 25 yards that time. Uh, they've been struggling in the passing game. Do you like the aggressiveness there? I mean, it worked on that play, but do you like it? I do because a lot of the time you're struggling because your passing lanes are clogged. That usually happens when you're throwing the ball underneath. People start to press up on you. Push them deep. Find some space and open things up again. Being aggressive there I think will pay off for them. So now first and 10 in Chiefs territory at the 26-yard line. <laughs> To throw again is Jackson. Got a man. It's Brown. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. That one good for 13 and a Raven first down. And just a small glimpse there as to why they like this rookie so much. And that's why they lit up a little bit in our meetings with the coaching staff, didn't Yeah, they? when we talked about him, they did. Yeah, you know, they like his work ethic. You know, this guy's running every route well in the route tree and getting better at it all the time, really honing his game. They expect a pretty good jump out of him as things continue to move on. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old-school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. Saw so through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. And he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. It's a three-yard pickup, and that sets up a first and goal. It's nice every now and then in this game not to see people overthink it. Just hand it to the old reliable guy. Let him pick up the first down. First and goal, a touchdown and a two-point conversion here are musts. They'll look to run with Ingram, and he will take it in for a Ravens touchdown. 
taking it in from a yard out. As they now sit just a two-point conversion away from tying this game up in the fourth quarter. I wonder if he changed anything on his play sheet or they just executed better. Because they had two previous drives that ended in field goals before this one they finally were able to put into the end zone. Well, whatever he did, speaking of the offensive coordinator, might be using that formula going forward. It worked there. Yeah, it worked very well. He and his field general in pretty good sync right now. They're starting to move the ball well. Now a big play here as the Ravens are going to go for the two-point conversion. But he is not going to make it. It's a big play by the defense, and they're going to hold on to their two-point lead. And a failure to convert and tie the game. Now the pressure shifts back to the defense. But I think it was the right play. I think it was the right call to try and tie the game there. Kick an extra point, you're still down one. What's the sense? I, I like what they did. Tucker now to kick it away following the touchdown. This one fielded at the five. And he'll take this across the 25. A couple of extra yards up to the 27-yard line. And now here comes Kansas City. A little less than four minutes remaining. And the margin for error is small with this slim lead. Operate within your four-minute offense here, Charles? Definitely. Remember, the four-minute offense doesn't always correspond to what's up on the clock. What they need to do is play a little bit of keep away right now. Run the clock down. Make sure their opponent doesn't get the ball back. Their dream scenario, get enough first downs and make them eat up their timeouts so the game ends when you're kneeling down with the football. First down for the Chiefs. Solid chunk of yardage, 17 on the play. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it, so it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. The big play to start him out has him at the 45 already. clock is going to run out here. They're in no hurry to get a playoff. So a penalty that can frustrate a coach so much, a mental error, and it'll back him up five yards. So a little bit of a stiffer challenge now. First and 15 following the delay of game. Following the penalty, it's Williams. They get the penalty yardage back, plus a yard. Six-yard gain, and it's second and nine. All right, that's a decent game there, but it hasn't been his best game overall. So I wonder what the mindset is of his team. Do they want him to handle the football and try and close this game out? Or are they going to make an alternative plan and maybe go in a different direction? Uh, I think they need him, and this is his time to shine. Two minutes remain, and that's our score differential as well. Two points. Here in the fourth quarter. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. They run it again with Williams. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. This is a big third down, and you'd have to think we'd see a timeout right away if they can't stop him here. Now Williams. And he'll only get this to the 47. He needed a few more yards to pick up the first. And now we're going to get a timeout defensively. So another stop, 150 left in the football game.
Here's Dustin Colquitt now as he'll punt it away for the second time. And this will be out of bounds at the what here? The 12-yard line. Let's go, let's go. Jackson and the Ravens, here they come. Down by two, a minute 45 to play. A field goal would be a game winner as they come up on first down. The drive starts here with a carry by Ingram. And he'll get this one up to about his 14. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. I know a lot of people won't like the draw called in that situation, but every now and then that pops big. In this case, it didn't happen. Jackson trying to hustle his unit up quickly to the line of scrimmage. Jackson to throw. He's going to find his tight end, Boyle. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. At this stage, you've got to hustle. You've got to get back to the line of scrimmage because you're saving that timeout to make sure you have a chance to get your kicker out there for the big shot. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Now Jackson. To Boyle here over the middle. And he's taken down right at the 45-yard line. A good pick up there, a 22. All right, they picked up yardage, but they've got to get up to the line of scrimmage and spike it. They've got one timeout left, want to save it. Would be a long field goal try from here as they try to hustle to the line. Here's Jackson. Throwing middle, but it's incomplete. Hollywood Brown, the intended receiver, but it'll be second down. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Throwing now is Jackson. Out right, this is Boyle, the tight end. That catch good for five. It's third down. An incompletion, now a short pickup. That's not going to do it. Yeah, you've got to get to the line of scrimmage quickly, get set up, and aim downfield. Ravens going to use their third and final timeout as he'll stop it with 11 seconds remaining in the ball game. Now Justin Tucker, he has hit from 61 in his career, so he has the leg for this. The Chiefs will use the first of their timeouts. That'll leave them with two remaining. We'll be back after this. Now Justin Tucker, he has hit from 61 in his career, so he has the leg for this. This to almost certainly win the football game. And he missed it. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. Well, befitting a tight game like this, it all came down to the wire. But in the end, the field goal to win, it goes begging. Oh, man, that is a tough way to lose a football game. You put yourself in position, and you give yourself a chance, but it was just not meant to be. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive, and they've got this one in hand. No timeouts remaining defensively, so this one should just be one kneel and then handshakes. So this one in the win column for Kansas City. And it was a bit of a strange game. They were held scoreless through the entire second half, but their first half output, that's enough to carry them to victory. And that's an odd game to watch, isn't it? Because when we saw the output in the first half, you think to yourself, okay, they've got something working here. They know what they're doing. They'll continue that along. But instead, it's goose eggs in the second half. Fortunately, enough of a cushion and enough defense to carry them home.
So that's a wrap for Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gunn. And this has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com. The Chiefs victorious here as we say so long from Arrowhead.